Hey friends, I just want to do an update video. Um, thank you, uh, Jack James, for requesting one. Um, I hadn't thought about posting an update, but it, my wallet has changed a little bit. It is uh, three and a half months of carrying this. I had originally um, kind of been rotating it with other ones, but I've been trying to use it a lot more consistently now. Um, you can see it's got what looks like water drops. That's actually um, juice box from one of my kids. It's got denim impressions from my jeans, some denim transfer. A lot of times I don't have cash in here. I have some now, but usually I, I don't. So you can see the imprint of my cards pretty well. Um, the inside looks a lot more beat up because of this little zipper pull right here. It leaves indentions where it, where it um, closes on it. And I've seen other um, wallets he's posted and they don't look like this inside. So I don't know if the people don't sit on theirs or if they, it's just, there's so many different options for leather um, that maybe they just pick one that doesn't make these um, marks and stuff. I have usually four quarters in here in case I need them for whatever. Um, the pockets I had got them lined there, they look great. I love this huge cash compartment. It's really big. And when I got this, I was like, this is gonna be my wallet from now on for a long time. But then I had two friends send me um, two wallets that they weren't using. And both of the wallets they sent were super awesome. So one of them just happens to be from the same um, company, Mill Handmade in Brisbane, Australia, Rocky. Um, this is called the Everett Wallet and it's navy blue Botero leather, but it looks very black. Like this is my black um, Nomo London backpack for work. And it's just very dark. The inside has what looks like a Pueblo lining. And I love how slim this is. Um, you have a cash pocket in the back here. I don't usually have cash though, so that's why it's kind of imprinted around where my cards go. Um, the other wallet I got was a Ewing Dry Goods Gentleman's Bifold, like like one that I had um, in a previous video. I had ended up selling that one, and the one I got in replacement now is um, a blue Shinky Shell Cordovan, and it's so pretty. I'll post a video of that one later. Um, I just wanted to keep this to my Mill Handmade wallets um, just to show an update, but. I love, it's just, the quality is just so much better than, you know, most of the stuff I've ever had. It's so smooth inside. It's so thin, but it, it just feels amazing. So this is how it's looking. I think it's been a little over three months, like a month, three and a half months, but I'll post an update later on. Um, definitely at the like year mark, maybe before then, but hope y'all are doing well. Bye.